It's crucial that we place ecosystems at the heart of our water and food security efforts. By taking an ecosystem approach to water management, land management, and the broader management of ecosystems and agroecosystems, we can actually feed 9 billion people by 2050. An ecosystem approach uses a landscape view of agriculture. Instead of looking at agricultural production systems separately, we look at the continuum of agroecosystems at the landscape level. So you have various land uses that are connected, for instance, by corridors of perennial vegetation that provide habitat for uh, pollinators and help to tighten the nutrient and water cycle, and at the same time provide this diverse landscape. Thus, we get more ecosystem services from agriculture. It's important to value the ecosystem services from agriculture and consider the ecosystem functions of agriculture and not just food production. By taking the broader look like this, we can get more value out of our natural resources that we apply in these agricultural systems. Another way of creating these landscape level um, integrated agroecosystems is by combining the various production systems into one, integrating trees with crop production, combining livestock with agriculture, and even combining it with aquaculture and fisheries. Now what an agroecological landscape looks like, you can see in this picture. It doesn't necessarily have to be in the wet tropics. Also in a dry environment this can work. As you can see in this picture from Morocco where terracing keeps the soil in its place and perennial vegetation in this case consisting of cactus and palm trees will help maintain the water cycle. To make this agroecosystem approach work we have to work with various sectors and the sectors have to collaborate together. So you need to get people from the line ministries together, from forestry, from agriculture, from fisheries, from livestock management, and also the various ministries involved in water management. By using integrated water resource management at the basin level, it's possible to mobilize water from rain, surface runoff, and water that's underground in aquifer and in, as soil moisture to mobilize all that water for your agroecosystem and thus get more ecosystem services out of agriculture. By taking an ecosystem approach to water and food security, we can create ecosystems and agroecosystems that are more resilient, that are more productive, and in the long term stay productive and yield a wide range of ecosystem services that also benefit the poor people in developing countries.